often told people when they ask about the uh, bonfire and the airplane incident, I tell them you need to know the rest of the story. And it so happened the rest of the story came before the, the story. We were JTAC and NTAC was uh, Arlington uh, School and their name were Grubs, where our name was Plowboys. And uh, we had a terrific rivalry. There was a group of boys that worked for the college store. There was about four or five of them, and I really think they instigated a, a plan to go over to Arlington and burn their bonfire ahead of time just for meanness and because that was the thing everybody tried to do. They tried to burn ours, we tried to burn theirs. They arranged to rent a 18-wheeler cattle truck from Buford Pittman and uh, he washed it out the best he could but uh, he had been holding a lot of cattle. They told all of us that wanted to go to wear our lab uniform, which was a white color, color coveralls with the Tarleton emblem on the back. And so we all got on our lab uniform and said to bring with us a, a pint a glass jar and a lid on it, good tight lid either a quart or a pint glass jar. And we loaded up into the um, truck somewhere in this area right here on McElhaney and um, took off for Arlington late in the afternoon. And on the way over there, we stopped in Granbury to a filling station over across the street. And uh, we all filled those jars up with gasoline. We got to Arlington and Buford Pittman drove right through the gates onto the campus. And their bonfire was built on the campus. And we uh, drove right up to the bonfire. Uh, when we were all huddled down in that trailer, uh, it, we looked like a bunch of sheep in there, and since we had on these white coveralls. Then we all piled out of that truck and ran over to the wood stack and threw those glass jars onto the wood. Naturally, they broke and gasoline covered that wood stack. And uh, a couple of the brave ones went over and scooped up one or two of those watch fires in their arms and threw it on the wood stack and it just exploded. It wasn't put any way to put it out. But in the meanwhile, the uh, grubs that were sitting around there uh, woke up to what was going on and they began trying to capture us, or catch us. Everybody trying to get back onto the truck. We were crawling up the sideboards and the Arlington students were pulling at us and trying to get us off, capture us. And they did capture about 10 of our group. And I was lucky enough I did get dragged off. I got back in the trailer with and we got on back to Stephenville. We knew that the grubs would want revenge for what what uh, we did to them. And uh, in fact, we got some kind of wording uh, from Arlington that they were going to come over and that they were coming in an airplane and they were going to firebomb our woodstack. Well, 
the ladies, uh, of course, wanted to help out, and so the ladies formed a ring, holding hands, formed a ring around the wood stack, all the way around it. I was on top of the wood stack with a garden hose, <laughs> but uh, had it shut off to where if the, if these fire bombs they were supposed to be bringing and using hit the wood, I was to square on down. I didn't even didn't even think what I'd do if that thing caught on fire underneath me. <laughs> but uh, I, like I say, I was 18 years old, I was having a good time, and uh, there was students, male students as well as women students, outside the ring, just just there, uh, waiting for. Arlington to come over, and um, when they came, they came in, uh, they came in a couple of what you call the bobtail truck, and uh, there's two trucks, and then some cars. These students that came in the truck parked over on Va Vanderbilt and he came across that vacant uh, land and uh, jumping over the uh, rock fence. That was the same direction the airplane came from. We were waiting for him. We were all set. The plane was a little high wing, single wing, little plane and uh, they had taken the door off of the the right side of the plane uh, and there was a pilot and uh, then there was another man there. The fellow that flew the plane flew that plane when I was standing on that bonfire I was eyeballing that man on the right side of the plane in that cockpit. That's how low he came in. He went across there between the bonfire and the science building, and then he had to pull the plane up a little bit to clear the president's house. First time he came through there, of course, uh, we didn't know what to expect other than he was they said he was going to firebomb. And so sure enough, he was throwing out some little, uh, well, it looked like a bean bag. Uh, it was about that size. And he was throwing those things out and hitting the wood stack. But they never did catch on fire. And uh, so while he, when, when he flew over, well, there was several boys down on the ground there that was chunking at the airplane, and they it went over and then went around and made a circle, and it came back the second time, the same as the first, and uh, of course uh, this L.B. Reisinger big old husky boy, uh, I guess he's a football player, but uh, he had a piece of two by four about that long, and uh, he just threw that right up, hit the propeller of the plane. Of course, he wasn't that far from it. it he, that plane really was low. The two by four hit the propeller, the plane sputtered and spit and the uh, pilot pulled it up enough to clear the president's house and then it went back down over on the drill field. Uh, he kept control of it pretty good, I guess. Because he went a good ways and then he went across the drive-in there 
there was a road coming in there then, and there was a bunch of little uh, trees there, post oaks, and maybe some live oaks, and uh, it tore the wings off of the plane, but it uh, it stayed on its wheels all the time. The uh, students that were in the plane uh, jumped out of it and ran across Washington Street, went over that rock wall, and across Washington Street and into the residential area, and they escaped into the residential area and went on to the east side of town and hitchhiked their way back to Arlington. Then the, the students that were on those trucks they came over and tried to get to the bonfire. And um, the girls and the men that were around it captured a bunch of them, a bunch of them. They just tried to set the stack on fire and then give it up and left uh, back to their trucks. But, uh, the ones that they caught, they give them the usual haircuts and then they paid their bus fare back to Arlington. They didn't, there wasn't anybody got in trouble for going over there and uh, there wasn't anybody got in trouble for defending ours. Uh, now, Arlington uh, punished the two boys in the plane they suspended both of them. The college as a whole got suspended from playing Arlington for several years. They just didn't want any more of that, so they canceled the football games.